Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Christine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough of Mass Effect 2 on Insanity. Going back to Omega, I've got a quest from a guy named Ish here that I can do. I'm gonna take Jacob and Miranda. I always like this uh, cinematic here when the Normandy lands on Omega. It's quite well done. Hmm. Mass Effect Invasion, the last issue, came out recently. I, I haven't read it, I haven't bought it, but you know, you can read um, what happens on the wiki. And that's. I don't care about re buying these comments, but I am interested in the event, so I checked the wiki on it. Uh, quite a lot of interesting stuff related to Omega. Not gonna spoil it. Some people get really pissed when I spoil games. Or other media. However, I am gonna talk of uh, the other Mass Effect uh, novels that are related to Mass Effect 2, nothing related to Mass Effect 3. I'm curious about um, a novel that's coming out, came out. I, I actually need to check this out. It deals with uh, the elusive man again, which I'm really interested in. I like Tim as a character. Actually, I like many Bioware villains. I find them more interesting than the good guys, supposed good guys, anyway. I've got Miranda and Jacob. Jacob Taylor? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I'm sure you didn't. No, please. So many years have passed since Tortuga. Lots of water under the bridge. You're acquainted? I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked a mission with Ish a few years back. He helped us with some information. You sent me into a nest of Turian thugs in a Batarian ambush. Hey now, my job was to get you inside. Anything more would have cost you extra. Can we trust him? Is this gonna be a problem? If we don't walk away, I promise he'll give you a reason to shoot him. <laughs> oh, now I'm curious. Well, now you have me interested. Ish, if you make one wrong move. Of course, I learned my lesson last time. Trust me, I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I don't trust you. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected to know the laws of every settlement in the galaxy, can I? What do you need? I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. You have a deal. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel, and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package, and bring those packages to me. Good to see you alive, Jacob. I wonder this, if this is just a reference to um, the game with Jacob as the main character. Yes, there is a game with Jacob as the main character where he foils a plot to assassinate the Citadel Council. A plot by the, the Batarians. And he does so with Miranda. That's how Jacob joined Cerberus. And Ish had something to do with that. I never played the game, I just read it on the wiki. You know, some people really hate spoilers. I hate people who hate spoilers. I'm the kind of guy who would read what happens in a movie before actually Commander, seeing the movie. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy watching the movie. In fact, I quite do because in a movie there's a lot more than just uh, text. Actually, even when reading a book, it's something it's uh, different to read a book than to read what, you know, a short uh, resume, synopsis, um, than it is. Um, I actually want to. Heal Shepard's cars. I'm gonna go to the crew quarters. Or do I want to heal Shepard's cars? I think he looks looks kind of badass. Uh, but I'm gonna talk with Miranda right now. And the mess sergeant. I got his food supplies. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Okay. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. 
My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did he react? How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Why are you telling me this? So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. This... You know, some people might like this view, but I hate it. You know, I would respect Lassen or like her as a character if she wasn't uh, eye candy. Because that's basically all she is as a character. Eye candy. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Relocation. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay. We don't have time. You know what's at stake on this mission, Miranda. We can't afford delays for personal matters. I understand, Commander. The mission comes first. I was just hoping we would have time before... If the mission takes us to Ilium, maybe you'll reconsider. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. After you were a cold-hearted bitch to to Shepard, you really and even Fred and even saying Fred's that Shepard should, should, uh, yes, should have had a Shepard should have had a control the chip implanted in him. You really think Shepard's gonna help you? You're delusional, Lawson. She's. I think someone on YouTube named Mud Boy uh, explained Lawson very well. She's a Bond girl. Jacob, Commander, what do you want? Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I decide what's personal. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Get to the point. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week. Reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that. Out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You don't want to find him? I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Possible Cerberus connection. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who yeah. With that bunch. Relationship uh, with father. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. The ship and the mission. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Let's go take a look. I think we can spare the time. 
Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Yeah. I really care about Jacob, but I don't give a shit about Miranda. And I'm not afraid to say out that out loud. I just don't give a shit about Miranda. Hell, I care more about Jack than I care about Miranda, and that seems something because I... Actually, I don't hate Jack. I hate Lawson for what she stands, not necessarily as a character. But I don't hate Jack in any way. Except that she has no bloody purpose in the plot of the game. And that's a, you know, a minor issue. <laughs> At any rate. Let's go to the Citadel, get the package for Ish. I'm also gonna talk with Kelly about something, not really sure what though. Oh uh, yeah, and I need to talk with Joker about Caden. He's uh, gonna ask Shep how Shepard's doing. Yeah, let me just skip the cinematic. I don't need this. Cinematics when you arrive on a place should be short. Unlike that. Which just it just takes too long. I know you're not gonna visit the citadel that many times, but come on. Okay, Jacob and Loss, I'm just gonna use them for this quest. Since they know ish. Um for Loss I'm just gonna get warp for Jacob. Yeah, he's fine as he is. Yes. Game level twenty six. You know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. This is the package, and it has. And apparently Ish is spying on Arya. No! I was walking by and he just turned on me and started screaming. Alright, here we go. And let's go back to the Normandy. Yes, keep that cinematic. Porcha regenerate but are lightly armored. Use headshots to kill them. And incendiary ammo if you have it. I strongly recommend incendiary ammo to take them down. Okay, no no messages. Let's go to LM. Huh. Right. Uh Bronx system, lovely. Quite easy to miss that helium is r right there. That that text can get annoying. Also, there are several missions in the system. Though I'm not gonna complete the Justicar or Assassin missions right now. Just gonna help out this, and then the next video I go after Tali with. Uh, I'm gonna take Garrus and uh, hmm, don't really know. I know what the mission is, so and I can safely say that Garrus and Garrus and Zaid would be a good combo. I just like them. What can I say? Oh, whatever. So we're on Ilium, and I accidentally skipped the cinematic. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. I was concerned for a moment. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. 
Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Um, Nos Astra attractions. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. <laughs> okay, Nos Astra. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Why? What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Trading. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Yeah. Well, thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Okay. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the... 25. Ex your Commander Shepard? Yes. I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Who is it? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide, we borrow, we build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Stop controlling her. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Um... The Rachni location. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Asari's purpose. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. That sounds too easy. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. 
If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. How did you encounter the Rachni? How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. And the pirates? What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. Thanks for the message. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. As I said, with uh, regards to the genophage, genocide is just oh not something God, I can Shepherd. condone. I thought you were dead. I was. I'm looking for the best tech upgrade. Shepard yeah. is cyber Jesus. Actually, where's that? Um, packages for Ish or Eternity on Elium. Okay. I'm gonna have to watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Do you need help? Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Hmm. I'm gonna cause trouble. And I know who she's talking about. Conrad Werner. I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. God. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, hey, kid. If you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a specter. Oh, uh. And then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. I bet you do, Conrad. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. My foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Um, they do, usually. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. If you didn't notice it, I suggest you wind back the video a bit and check to see what the Sari does when Conrad says about what what Conrad says about his wife. <laughs> oh God. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Oh, great. What were you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Oh, great. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. 
Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Why don't you use a gun to kill him? The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Just a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Centuries? How old are you exactly? Exactly? Hell if I know. What year is it? I am a matriarch, though, if that's what you're wondering. Most matriarchs head back to Thessia, our homeworld, so everyone can listen to their wise counsel. I serve drinks. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. That's it for now. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. A uh, great. A liquefied Turian on a dare? Seriously? What the hell is wrong with this galaxy? Oh god. This is so embarrassing, really. That Turian is pathetic. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my boss mate. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay, return to the Normandy. And return to Ish. For secret organizations, stem you really don't do much to hide the symbols of your organization. You know, that diamond shaped symbol. And also, apparently, everyone recognizes who Serb. When you're with Cerberus, or everyone recognizes Cerberus in general. Really? Secret organization? Seriously? Uh, let's go back to Omega. And that's where it is. the cinematic and let's do this there are multiple endings for this quest depending on your choices you can either give the packages to Ish and let it be you can go to Anton who is Arya's second in command I guess and tell him that Ish is spying on him or has dirt on him which he does and then suggest that uh, Anton or Anta, I'm not really sure, doesn't really matter, should kill Ish, or you can tell Ish that he should give up his profession. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. The stolen data. Have you seen what's in these packages? Hi, did you find something untoward? 
Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. You sure about that? I bet Mr. Anto would be very interested in this information and in finding out who wanted it. You wouldn't. Would you? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. I knew you were up to something. You betrayed Jacob. It sounds like you deserve to die for what you did to Jacob. No, please. I'm just trying to make a living. It was simply business. Then it sounds to me like you're in the wrong business. Please, I'll go. I'll leave Omega. Just don't hurt me. You'll never see me again, I promise. Yeah, I bet. Come on, Sal. We have to get out of here. Yeah. That's better than he deserves. Well. Wait, what? Ah, uh, no renegade points. Yeah, whatever. I think I'm actually gonna go to the Batarian who's Arya's second in command and give him this information so he kills Ish. I think he deserves it. Or, I don't think so, actually, but... Oh, save point here. Alright. Hmm. As far as Bioware games go, I personally love, uh, or Bioware series of games go, I personally love the Mass Effect series uh, a lot more than I like the uh, Dragon Age series. In fact, I hate Origins, I hate Dragon Age 2, but I do like Awakening. Most of it has to do with Shepard as a character. The Warden, the Warden is just a brick. The Warden is a plot tool. Nothing more. He has no personality. The Warden can't be a badass like Shepard can. This is why I enjoy Mass Effect more. Because of Shepard's dialogue. And yes, I know Dragon Age 2 has voiced dialogue. But Dragon Age 2 is so bad at so many points. Anta. Oh, how the hell do you spell this name? Anyway. What? Do you know Ish? Do you know a Salarian named Ish? I know of him. He's selling your secrets. He's collecting information about you. Plans to sell it to the highest bidder. I have no secrets. This data says you do. None at all. Take a look at this data. What? Where did you get this? This this is privileged information. Arya wouldn't be happy. I'm not sure Arya would approve of this kind of behavior. Arya doesn't need to know, does she? You'll find out, one way or another. Or are you forgetting what she's capable of? What do you want from me? Pay me for my silence. I'm feeling awfully talkative, especially around Arya. This ought to do it. Now get out of my sight and don't go looking for Ish. You won't find him. Thank you for the heads up, human. That's kind of harsh, even if Ish does deserve it. Really, Jacob? He pays you less, but you get renegade points. Anyway, Costin here on Serious Gaming, signing out.